from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm just going to show you how on Power Automate Flow you can get last month, so the previous month, to the current day. Um, and let's just get straight into it. So I've just got a variable here, and the expression we want to use is add to time. And then this is where you want to put um, your variable for the time that you're going to change to. So for just for this example, I'll use UTC. But if you've done a year convert to time near in the flow, reference that so it's your local time zone. And then after the comment, what you want to do is do a minus one. So this is minusing the month. Then do another comment. And then we want to write month in here. So that's how it knows it's taken that month away. And we're just going to minus one month. And then last, finally, you want to do the format of the date that it's going to display. So for this one, I'll do month, month, Y, Y. And let's just do that one there. I'll just do a few more formats so you can see um, how it comes out. Okay, so let's just run this. So I'll put those uh, codes into the description, but yeah, there you can see it brought out 01 2024 and it's also brought out January um, because the day of recording is February. So I hope this video helps. As I said, I'll put the, those expressions into the description of the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.